Hey guys, and welcome back to Mad About Skin. In today's video, we are talking ceramides, one of the most popular skincare ingredients of the moment, and an ingredient I get a lot of questions about day in, day out. Ceramides are a family of waxy lipid molecules are present in high concentrations in our skin. However, as with a lot of things, as we age, the amount of ceramides in our skin diminishes like that, meaning reaching for a ceramide infused serum or moisturizer can be a fantastic addition to an anti-aging skincare routine. When it comes to ceramides, however, not everything Everything's super simplistic and there are some things that you do need to know. I'm going to share all of that and break it down in today's video and then towards the end share with you my absolute favourite ceramide containing skincare. So sit back, relax and let's talk all things ceramides. Now, before we get into this video, I would love to know your own experience with any of the products mentioned in today's video or your favourite ceramide infused skincare. So, sound off in the comments section below and leave any of your recommendations because they do really shape the products I try out and test in the future on the channel. Just promise me that whilst you're down there, you'll also give this video a big thumbs up and a like. It's a fantastic way of supporting me and the channel and honestly, from the bottom of my heart, thank you so, so much. But, with all that being said, shall we cut the waffle and just delve straight on in? And I guess the best place to start is what are ceramides? Well, as I said before, ceramides are a family of waxy lipids that are ever present in our skin. They form around 40% of some of the layers of our skin and a real core component in our skin health. They work alongside free fatty acids and cholesterol to form like a liquid matrix which prevents transepidermal water loss. Transepidermal loss water loss is like a fancy way of the moisture, the water in our skin being lost to the environment around us. That's a bad thing because A, it can exacerbate pre-existing dryness in the skin and it's something that we notice increases as we age. Ceramides are also a core component in a healthy skin barrier. We often hear people talk about barrier supporting skincare, the impacts of an impaired barrier function on the skin and in truth all of this is is something that we really should be mindful of when it comes to our skincare. When our skin barrier is in tip-top health, it's just fighting for us day in, day out. It's much less likely to experience things such as redness, peeling, and irritation. These are things that are characterized by impaired barrier function. By having an increase in ceramides in our skincare routine, it can offset or minimize the risk of that barrier impairment. A lot of people will talk about the ceramide ratio, what they call the golden ratio in skincare. That's like the perfect blend in a product between ceramides, cholesterol, and free fatty acids. These are the three core components that provide that liquid matrix to prevent the transepidermal water loss. You'll hear a lot of people say, actually, without this perfect ratio, which is around one to one to one equal components, though some people do say three to one to one, it can get a very confusing. But you will hear people say, without this perfect ratio, ceramides are pretty pointless in your skincare routine and you're wasting your money. Actually, I don't buy into that. I think to prevent, to get maximum benefit and to prevent that transepidermal water loss and really improve the barrier function of the skin, having that ideal ratio is perfection. But even without that ratio, ceramides still add a lot of value to your skincare routine. They can add additional hydration, meaning they're fantastic in any moisturizers that you might be reaching for. And they can, even outside of that ratio, still have some benefit in terms of barrier support and just making sure that the levels of ceramides available in our skin and that liquid matrix are as high as possible. To achieve this perfect ratio costs a lot of money, a lot of formulation, research, testing, all has to go into the products to deliver that perfect ratio of ceramides, free fatty acids and cholesterol, which means the sort of products that have that command a really high price point, which just not everybody can reach for. But I don't want anyone to be put off from reaching for ceramides just because they might not be in that perfect ratio. You can still get some really great benefits. I'm going to come on to some of my favorite products with that ratio and without later on in the video. Now, before we get into those favorites, it's just a couple of things to be aware of before you choose your ceramide product for your skincare routine. First of all, be mindful of the concentration. You know, a lot of brands, because ceramides are super popular at the moment, a lot of brands will put the absolute minuscule amount of ceramides in their product so they can then stick it on the front of the label and shout that their product is ceramide infused. Be really mindful of that because ceramide concentrations do vary wildly from product to product. You want to reach for something that either a brand that you trust to deliver a meaningful concentration or one that will advertise that percentage to you, the consumer, so you know exactly what you're getting. Ceramides are relatively expensive to formulate with, so a lot of brands are a little bit shady and put the smallest amount possible to justify putting that label of ceramide infused on the bottle. This is something that you know won't deliver you a whole lot of additional benefit, but they might be charging a little bit more because they know that people gravitate towards those ceramides. So just be mindful of that. Also, I'd avoid ceramide infused cleansers. That's just because honestly, they don't sit on the skin long enough to have any meaningful benefit. Cleansers, maybe we'll work them into the skin for 60 seconds, then we rinse 
them off and all that ceramide goodness is going down the drain. Personally, I like to keep my ceramides to my serums and my moisturizer steps. That way they'll leave on treatment so you can reap the benefits all day long. Ceramide is super popular in cleansers at the moment, but I think, you know what, you might be paying a little extra but not actually getting any additional benefits. So just be mindful of that. Now I think it's time we just get onto some of my ceramide skincare favorites. And I've got quite a few to get through. So I'm gonna go through in a little bit of pace, but I've left links to everything mentioned in the description box below. So if you wanna check it out in more detail, read the ingredients, the reviews, make a purchase, it's all there for you. Now let's start with those that have that perfect ratio to deliver maximum barrier support, ultimate hydration, and to just really harness the ultimate power of ceramides. I said earlier in the video that the reason a lot of brands don't actually stick rigidly to this ratio is because it's super expensive to achieve. And the two products I'm gonna call out now aren't the cheapest, so I'm gonna call that out. First and foremost is the Skin SkinCeuticals Lipid Restore. This is often touted as being like the holy grail when it comes to ceramides, and absolutely it has that perfect ratio. The amount of formulation, testing, and the robustness of all of that that's gone into this is like unparalleled, but it commands a ridiculously high price point. So that is something that you have to definitely bear in mind. I never want people to feel that skincare has to be a luxury and that you're priced out of the market. I personally don't reach for skin SkinCeuticals for a couple of reasons. First, they're not entirely cruelty free, which is something that matters to me. And also, I don't find it easy to justify that higher price point, even though I do think a lot of research and formulation has gone into this product. This is like the gold standard for maximum benefit from your ceramides. And if you're, you know, if money is no object and you don't mind skin SkinCeuticals as a brand, this might be one to reach for. Certainly delivers that barrier support and that maximum hydration. But for me, I found that I've got very similar results that I want to get out of my ceramides from some other products that don't stick rigidly to that ratio. Second is the Regimen Lab, Regime Lab, it depends where in the world you live to how you pronounce it, cream. This is a much better alternative in my view to that SkinCeuticals because it's half the price point, which is always a benefit, but also does stick to that really nice ratio, which is gonna give you maximum benefit from your ceramides. However, bear in mind that this is a little bit on the thicker side. I find it doesn't always work that well for oily, acne prone skin like my own. So do definitely bear that in mind. But if you've got a dry skin type, this could be a beautiful addition to your skincare routine. I really like Regimen Lab and I'm going to be featuring them more on the channel and I definitely think this is one of their standout products. It's certainly not the cheapest out there but I think to get that perfect golden ratio you're paying roughly half the price of the SkinCeuticals for a brand which I think just delivers a little bit more. So this was my personal preference but just be mindful that when it comes to skin types that it will work with if you're oily or acne prone it might be a bit too thick and it might actually exacerbate any breakouts that you have. That was my experience with it but for dry skin this could be a saviour. So those products were what we had like the golden ratio that scientists long for and chase after that can give maximum benefit from your ceramides. But I'm here to say, even if you can't afford to reach for that high price point skincare, you're not missing out and ceramides can still give some additional benefit even without that perfect ratio. They'll hydrate and nourish the skin. They can help with barrier support. And I've definitely noticed from including ceramides in my own skincare routine, my skin is better hydrated. It's softer than it ever was before. And I'm definitely less prone to redness, sensitivity and irritation, which has to be a good thing. So I definitely think everyone can benefit from ceramides. You don't always need to pay more in order to chase that golden ratio. Some of my favorite affordable ceramide products are these. This is the Jackson Lane Relax and Repair Moisturizer. So, so good, super lightweight, perfect if you have oily or acne prone skin because it's gel-like, but it also does leave a meaningful hydration behind, which I love. It's like the perfect spring, summer moisturizer. I think this is one that I'll be using time and time again. It has a really nice blend of ceramides alongside some other fatty acids. Not in exactly the perfect ratio but you've definitely got the core components there for some additional value. You guys know I love this product. This is a Stratia Liquid Gold. I keep brandishing this empty bottle. I have actually got one on my vanity that is full that I'm using at the moment but I love this. It's got ceramides, it's got cholesterol so whilst you don't have the perfect ratio you've definitely got the individual components that you need for that maximum benefit. It's a fraction of the cost of the Regimen Lab or the SkinCeuticals one and I actually find gives me the exact same benefit. I love this. It's like the instant fix if your skin barrier is a little bit damaged, do you want to minimize any redness, peeling sensitivity, use this for a couple of days. It's like so, it's like transformative. I absolutely adore it. It's my favorite product from the Stratia collection. Of course, when I formulated my own moisturizer, which is this, the Mad About Skin Maximum Impact Moisturizer, I of course wanted to include ceramides. I'm a total convert. Originally, I thought, you know, ceramides were a bit too hyped. It was that sort of viral
general ingredient everyone wanted to have, and I wasn't totally sold on the benefits. Then I incorporated in my skincare routine, and I realized you don't need that golden ratio. As long as you've got those ceramides alongside some other fantastic ingredients to nourish and hydrate the skin, you can get great benefits, which is why I wanted to include ceramides as a core component in my own moisturizer. Alongside this, you do also have some free fatty acids and you have some cholesterol, so you definitely got the blend you need to get really nice barrier support alongside hydration. Okay, it's not tested to give that exact perfect ratio that I talked about before, but again, as with all these products that I'm mentioning now, it comes at a fraction of the cost of the regimen lab or the skin suitable. So it's all about price point versus what you want to get out of the product. I'm really proud to put my name to this, and it's definitely one of the products and moisturizers that I reach for day in, day out to get that ceramide fix alongside some other great calming and soothing ingredients, botanicals, to just give my skin everything it needs. Finally, I want to give two honorable mentions. I'm going to talk about the Revolution Skincare Ceramide Moisturizer. Now, this is the cheapest of all the recommendations. They don't advertise this percentage of ceramide, so I'm not exactly sure how much is in here, but it's a really nice ceramide body treatment. It's super affordable. It's kind of like a cruelty-free dupe to the CeraVe, which everyone raves about. So I'd say if you're shopping CeraVe and you want like a cruelty-free dupe that's going to give you everything your body needs, this is a really, really nice option. Finally, I want to talk about the Pacifica Vegan Ceramide Bar Barrier Face Cream a great great option if you like a little K beauty in your life this is fantastic and great for oily acne prone skin a lot of ceramide moisturizers in particular can be on the thicker more occlusive side which adds some additional benefit that's not going to be for every skin type and if you're super oily and acne prone and you want something that's really lightweight barely there on the skin but it gives some meaningful benefit reach for the Pacifica one or the Jackson Lane that I called earlier those will work, both work beautifully in conjunction with your skin type so there you have it guys a rundown of my favorite ceramide creams a little bit of an explanation about the ratios and how to use ceramides in your skincare routine. I hope you found this super, super useful, but I'd love to know your own personal recommendations to so sound off in the comments section below. And wherever you are in the world, guys, stay safe, stay well, and love your skin. Take care. Bye.